Let's be friends. Once upon a time, there was a small boy, called Hurry. He was strong, and loved to tease all the boys, and girls, who went to school with him. What he loved to do the most, was to pinch others. He could make, a big bruise appear, in half a second. Another trick he played was, pricking people with a pin. So, you can guess, how all the children hated him. They tried, pinching him back, but that was no good, because, he could always pinch much harder. They did not like, telling their teacher, because, that was telling tales. It so happened, that the class went for a picnic, to the seaside for a whole day. All the children were most excited. On that day, the sun shone bright, and all the children were, wild with excitement. They crowded into a train, and sat down, but nobody wanted to sit, next to hurry, because, he always pinched them. When they arrived at the seaside, all the children, jumped out with a shout of joy. Down to sands they raced, hand in hand, but nobody took Hurry's hand. Nobody went near him. Hurry was angry. He went to an isolated sandy corner, near a rocky pool, and sat down by himself. He took out his lunch, and looked at it. Wow! It is a good lunch. There were two hard-boiled eggs, six jam sandwiches, three pieces of bread and butter, a ginger cake, and a bar of chocolate. He would eat it, all by himself. He would not offer anything to anyone. Just as he was beginning with an egg, he heard a hoarse voice near him. Good morning. I am so pleased to meet a boy like you. Hurry turned around and stared in fright. Hurry saw a monster crab, walking sideways out of the pool. His eyes were on the ends of the short stalks, and he looked most queer. He held out his front claw to Hurry. Hurry put out his hand, to shake the crab's claw, but to his surprise, and anger the crab opened his pincers, and nipped his hand so hard, that the little boy yelled. Ah, uh, here is my good cousin, said the crab pleasantly, and to Hurry's horror, he saw a large sandy lobster crawling heavily out of the pool. Before Hurry could stop him, the lobster took his hand in his great pincer-like claws and pinched it so hard that he yelled in pain. Then he stared at the pool in surprise, for sandy-colored shrimps and prawns, more crabs, and another large lobster came out and they pricked Hurry till he was soon black and blue with their pinching. Don't you like it? said all the creatures in surprise. Why, we were told, you would love to see us because you were a champion pincher and prickle yourself. Come, come and join the fun. Hurry leapt to his feet, crying loudly. His lunch rolled into the pool, and when the crabs and lobsters saw it, they ran to it and began to feast eagerly. Hurry saw that they had forgotten him for a time, and he turned and ran for his life, tears streaming down his cheeks. Hurry ran and sat near a rock thinking. They only did to me what I keep doing to other children. But how it hurts. And how I hated those crabs and lobsters. I suppose the other children hate me too. I shall not pinch or prick anyone anymore.